and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be talking about five things that i didn't know about turkey if you're new here on my channel then you don't know it but i'm a dutch girl and i'm living in marmaris i'm living now here in turkey for over four years and a lot of things surprised me when i came here and i'm talking about five things in this video i made a little similar video before uh, five things that i love most about turkey and also other videos related to turkey so if you like to see that i will link them somewhere up here so you can check them out after this video and with this video i don't want to offend anybody it's just a fun video and i really love turkey otherwise i wouldn't live here and of course if you are new here on my channel don't forget to subscribe i make a lot of beauty related videos videos about turkey vlogs so if you like that make sure you subscribe and of course i also have an instagram where you can follow me and now let's get started with the video so the first thing that was different for me is uh, the greetings in the netherlands if you meet someone you just give a handshake and if you know them well you give three kisses on the cheek yes three i know for a lot of people that sounds really weird because most of the time you just give two kisses on the cheek but in the Netherlands we do it three times so when I came here to Turkey and I met some people and especially women um, it was a little bit of a surprise because obviously they kissed me two times on the cheek but also they hooked me two times so what they did is they gave me just simple two kisses on the cheek but after that they hold me like a hook on one side and after they hug me on the other side and i was like oh okay we're gonna hug oh okay we go to the other side <laughs> so that was like really different so the first time i thought oh this is just someone's wait for a greeting but after i learned that uh, a lot of women do this here so i thought that was really sweet so i know that now so when someone is start hugging me i know we first have to go one side and after again the other side so yes that was something different and also the way men greet each other is different here in turkey in the netherlands and i think in a lot of countries they just give like a simple handshake so when men meet each other it's just like hey hello but when men meet each other here in turkey they don't kiss each other but they i don't know how to explain it like they do the heads like this if that makes sense and they just do the heads like this so also that was really different for me and i think that's really beautiful because a handshake can be quite cold and maybe a little bit like create a distance but I think it's really beautiful uh, that they do that here. And I talked about this in a previous video. But also when Turkish people meet their grandparents or someone they look up to, they um, kiss their hands. Or not really kiss the hand but they just do with the chin like this and then the forehead and that is out of respect and i think that's also really beautiful so yes the greetings here in turkey are very different comparing to the netherlands but um yes i really like the way they do it here then the next thing that i didn't know about turkey is that there are a lot of different uh, holidays like a lot of different days that they celebrate things in turkey ataturk is really important he's the founder of turkey and there's a few different days where they celebrate things from ataturk but also children's day that ataturk started so yes there's a lot of days that they celebrate different things a lot of times on the news i see like again they celebrate something or on the television it's like a little flag um on the screen and that means that there's like a, a special day so yes that was really new to me that there's a lot of different holidays here that i didn't know about and like i said already ataturk is the founder of turkey and he's really important everywhere you go in turkey you see him on the flags on cars he's really important for the turkish people and with that said the third thing is the turkish flag in the netherlands maybe if it's a special day like king's day which is a really a uh, big holiday in the netherlands we have like a flag near our house but other than that um, you don't see the flag that often and here in turkey you see the turkish flag everywhere turkish people are really proud of their country and you can see the flag outside people's house you can see them in the center again on cars people have like a huge flag on their car turkish people are so proud of their country and i didn't know that and the first time i was here i thought is it like a special day like a holiday 
that people hang the flag out but no people always do that so that was again something that i didn't know but again i think it's really beautiful that people are so proud of their country and then the last thing which is kind of funny is the traffic like i said in a previous video um the traffic here is really chaotic cars are everywhere scooters are everywhere but the thing which I was really surprised by is how many people can fit on one scooter. I have seen four people on a scooter here and I was like, oh my gosh, isn't that dangerous? Like if they get an accident, but for people here, it's quite normal to sit with three, four people on a motorbike. A lot of the times it's like a family, like a father, a mother and children. And they just fit all on one little small motorbike. So that was so funny because I never saw that many people on a motorbike before. And again, with cars, doesn't matter with how much people they are, they will fit in that car. Sometimes I saw six people like in one small car and I would be really scared. I'm not gonna lie, like I would never sit on a motorbike with four people or in a car with seven people. But I find it quite funny that people here are so relaxed about everything, like they don't worry that much. And like Dutch people are like quite uptight and follow the rules really strictly. But in Turkey, they don't care about the rules. You see it everywhere. And yes, they are just really relaxed, not caring about the rules that much. Um, yes, that's Turkey. These were just a couple of things that was a big surprise for me when I came here. If you like to hear more about my experiences here in Turkey or other things, let me know in the comments down below. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. And of course, I also have an Instagram where you can follow me. And I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos. Bye!